In tonight's Political Insider, banning gays from the NFL. Earlier this month, football star Michael Sam announced he was gay, and then if drafted, he would become the first openly gay man playing professional football. Now, local lobbyist Jack Berkman plans to propose legislation banning gay athletes from joining the National Football League. Tonight, we have Jack live in the newsroom. Jack, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Good evening. Good evening. So what is this about, Jack? Some are already calling this a stunt. No, hardly a stunt. It's, it's about restoring common decency, Mike. I mean, you know, when you think about it, would we allow women in a locker room? No. Would you want, uh, if your son were a football player, would you want him uh, showering with women? No. These, these, this is just common decency and civility. If you don't want a woman, the reason we wouldn't have a woman in there is because there's sexual attraction between men and women, such is the case uh, between gay and straight. It's just common sense. Uh, but what's happened is the media in this country has enforce this kind of, um, how shall I call it, it's an iron curtain of political correctness, whereas if you even attempt to discuss these issues, uh, people call you a bigot. They link it to race. They want to talk about anything except the substance of the issue. Well, Jack, in the Hill, you also said, you're quoted saying, as you just said here, imagine your son being forced to shower with a gay man. That's a horrifying prospect for every mom in the country. What in the world has this nation come to? End quote. First of all, Jack, I don't think anyone's forced to shower with anyone in the NFL or in this country. Well, and you do acknowledge if you've been on a sports team or worked out at a private gym, you've probably already showered in the company of gay men without even realizing it. Well, so what's the big deal? If someone has come out as a homosexual, I think the NFL, what this legislation would do is one of two things. One, it would ban them from the National Football League. Two, it would give the NFL a choice. It would allow them to create separate facilities, completely separate facilities. I just think it's common decency. I mean, why do we have separate restrooms for men and women? Why uh, in school do uh, boys and girls shower in different areas? I mean, what is this area? Your in proposal seems to assume that Michael Sam would be the first gay player in the NFL. But I mean, do the math, uh, Jack. You got 32 teams, a 53-man roster. There are probably dozens of gays no, sure. already showering in locker rooms You're right. with straight if, players. So oh. Just not as courageous as Michael Sam. You're right. Sure, you're right. By the way, I don't think he's courageous. I think what he's doing is positioning himself very shrewdly. I think he's very shrewd in case the draft doesn't go uh, as he wants. I just think from a sports Wouldn't, perspective. Isn't he risking his, uh, his career and big money? No, no, no. He's guaranteeing it because the media will protect him. The media will provide air cover in case he's not, in case he's not drafted in the way he wants. He'll be taken care of because he can cry discrimination and the networks will come in and protect him with all the air cover he wants. The NFL will be forced to put him in Let's there. Let's talk just about the politics of this, though, Jack. Who's sponsoring your legislation? Do you have bipartisan support, uh, just one party, one chamber? Well, Can you name any of the lawmakers? We have, uh, today is the kickoff, so you're catching me on day one. We expect to have a lot of support. I'll give you the projection. Within, Mike, three weeks, within 20 days, our projections indicate we'll have 36 members in the House, six in the Senate. Let me tell you the politics here. What's happening is we devise strategy. Republican members, House and Senate, are being challenged all over the country by Tea Party uh, people, by far right wing elements. You can't be too far right in many districts in this Republican Party. Jack, these, can you these, name one lawmaker for me who supports this? Oh, I could, but I won't for them. Why? I will be able to soon. Because, Why? oh, to protect their privacy, we're still working on the legislation. The legislation, as you speak tonight, there are people drafting it. But soon enough, Mike, we'll but, be happy but to. But, Jack, you realize that the president and first lady, they came out and celebrated Michael Sam coming out, even if this legislation and keyword is if, were to get the support needed in the House and the Senate, which seems unlikely, maybe p impossible. What is the point? There is no way the president would sign any legislation like the this. The point is, well, we hope not. We hope we can get it through. I wouldn't take it on. The Why wouldn't the president do that? The point is to make a point. The point is Exactly. To, so the, isn't this just a stunt? It's not a stunt. It, we think the legislation can go through. I hope it will go through. I think I'm a pretty good tactician. I think I can drive it through. I think you've got Republicans all over this country in their districts that are running scared and are looking for reasons to move to the right. That's not the strategy. That's the tactics of it, Mike. I think it'll work. Jack, it, you say this is about morals and values. Yes. If this were to become the law of the land, why not stop with the NFL? Why not ban gays from being coaches, being school teachers, being oh, lobbyists, being TV reporters? Reporters. It's a completely different thing. That's, that's just because with the with the NFL, you're talking about people in intimate settings, nude with each other. It's a there completely are showers different thing. in the on Capitol Hill. Well, there. that's up that's up to Congress. I'm focused right now on the National Football League. Why not League. ban gays from using uh, uh, private gyms? 
Well, you don't know. We can take these things one thing at a time, Mike. We may look as a society, as a society, it may be wise to consider very comprehensive legislation for a lot of these things. Let me ask you finally, Jack, you're a conservative. What happened to your concern about big government? Why should you tell the NFL who it can and can't employ? I didn't come to this decision easily, and this is, you're exactly right. This is a statute that would preempt all state law. It might even go so far as to preempt a variety of, of state constitutional provisions. I think, Mike, it's necessary. You know, when I speak on college campuses all over the country, what I see is that young people are afraid to speak out. This gay issue is the camel's nose under the tent for political correctness. It's, again, the phrase I've used all day long on the air. It's this iron curtain of political correctness that is descending upon this nation that is causing fear, and we have to tear it down. That's what the purpose of this is. You said, Michael, Sam, you would and say he's courageous, but no. we welcome you to name one lawmaker who supports your legislation. Whenever you're ready, we're here for you. Jack. I will do. I will, I will take is. you up on that, and I appreciate it. Jack Berkman, thank you. Thank you.